looks like it's time for the mentalist to step in. Up Whitey Nerd Against, this is the one and only pack girl 89. Today's Mog Nerd Again live reaction video is going to be for Dr. Stone chapter uh, 123. And I'm really fucking excited because this is Jen time. And Jen's my favorite fucking character in the series. And um, I'm going to try and not be sad because uh, I, I my boyfriend died last week. And... Um, and I asked him, I, I actually asked him this question. I said to him, uh, you know, who would you, you know, which character are you more like? Are you more like the science character, like Sanku? Or are you more like the mentalist character, like like Jen? And he said he was more like Jen. And it, like, it just made me realize, I was like, oh my god, this is why, maybe that's why I love Jen. Because he reminded me of my boyfriend so much. Um, but anyway, I'm really excited. Let's get to this chapter and see what happens next. An alliance between our kingdom of si uh, science or er, sorcery and you, Mozi. How about it? Exciting, isn't it? Jen versus Mozu. Oh, shit. Yeah, here we go. It is time, motherfucker. Um... How do you like that? That's our bird of sorcery. Bet you didn't know this, but we can fly, fly freely in the sky however we want for reals. Which means we don't, um, we won't have any problems at all snatching uh, Kirisame's petrification weapon right out of the air. C -c -c flying freely in the air? That's a little overdoing it, no. We haven't even stabilized the thing yet. It's just an electro propeller slapped on a piece of bamboo for now. Don't <laughs> the small stuff, Seku. That's my Osmondo right there. Um, make your weak card look like an ace of spades. This is a fun fundamental um, opener in the deal game. The trump card is himself. That's my man right there! That's my husband! Oh, God, I love this man so much. I love him. Oh, my God. Best fucking character in this fucking series right here. That's my man. Um, and chapter 123 is titled The Battle of Wits Deal Game. If we were to fight Mozu, all of us would be killed. Ha! Ah, but on the other hand, this is our chance to negotiate and get the strongest man of all of all on our side. Coo -coo -coo. Right now, everything is riding on that silver tongue of yours. Come on, you got this, Jen! Yes, you got it, Jen! If oh, Jen, you look so adorable right now. What a protect you! If you were to work together with the power of our sorcery, the harem, the past, nay, the entire island could be yours to control. What would a Jen get over there? Don't you think so? Manipulation technique number one. Oh God. Oh gosh. Mentalist Jen's manipulation technique number one. This is a pretty famous technique, but when you're talking to um talking, it's better to be sitting next to one another rather than across um. Across, uh, across, uh, um, across it, it gives a, um, it, it gives a sense of solidarity. So when you're trying to persuade someone, rather than sitting at a table, you should, you should sit at a counter beside each other. Ah, so when we made our first move and everyone looked up at the drone, he naturally transitioned, uh, to his next move and shifted his position to be next to Mosu. Not bad, Mr. Mentalist. I mean, you're really, really strong, aren't you, Mosey? If we were to call Ibarra and his soldiers at a strength level of 100, then you, Mozu, would probably be around 150, wouldn't you? What? No, that's not even close. Oh, hmm, I think I'm a, at least a little bit stronger than that. M Mentalist Jens! <laughs> Nebulation technique number two. If you purposely give uh, strange, incorrect, and off-base data, then your target will impulsively feel inclined to correct you. Even if they weren't interested in what you were saying at first, they'll find themselves joining in anyways. Um, in reality, a straight versus Ibarra's would be like comparing heaven and earth. I want it. <laughs> <laughs> Really? Well, if you're that strong, then surely you could defeat someone like little Oli Barra anytime you wanted. Oh, that face! Oh, Jen is winning. That's my man. Somehow I get the feeling that he, oh, maybe not. Somehow I get the feeling that he's seeing through everything I'm doing. Should I just slaughter all of you, or should I kill Ibarra? Hmm, what should it be? Well, even if I'm going to kill you all, it wouldn't hurt to hear what you have to say first. 
Um, as I'm sure you already figured out, the one being turned, uh, the one behind uh, turning the leader to stone was Ibarra. Yeah, we figured that out. I suppose um, uh, he's done done stuff for us, but he's pretty finished. He's getting old. It'd be nice if he just croaked already. Besides, the women of the palace would be a whole lot happier as a part of my harem. Everyone else, <laughs> I mean, Silly's face is just like, you bitch. I'm not gonna lie. Saku's like, I could care less. I don't give a fuck. Croft's just like, he's like, what the fuck? Uh, Soyuz is just like, what? I just love Rio Sui's face. Swing is like freaking out. It's, I just love Rio Sui's face. He's just like, <laughs> that's great. Coo -coo -coo. So then, why haven't you already um, just killed Ibarra? If we didn't have the petrification weapon, believe me, I would have done it long ago. But the one in charge of it, uh, Kirisami, is rather formidable. If we were to fight straight up, I would win, but all it would take is one shot of that unguardable ray and I'd be finished. In other words, if you were to attack Prime Minister Iba uh, Ibarra, Kirisami, knowing nothing of the leader, would be quick to respond with the petrification ray. But if you were uh, to try and proclaim the truth... Um, you would lose your current place in the feeding chain of the, um, of the inner palace. It's a three-way deadlock, exactly what Ibarra wants. Hm, that's pretty devious. Guess he's not just some good old, a good-natured old man. Well, no fucking shit, it's Jafar, you dumbass. Uh, this is getting real complicated. Oh, my, real complicated. I've got, uh, no idea what's going on anymore. Yeah, I'll put it so simply so even a blockhead like you can understand. Mozu, the petrification ray is in your way, and we happen to want it, which means our interests are 10 billion percent in alignment. That's right! That's us! We, uh, uh, that's us! Want the petrification weapon! I fucking love you, Jen! You're like the best character ever! If, um, if we're gonna make a deal, it's gonna be equal for both of us, right? And you, Mozu, are already going to take control of the island and get the entire harem in her palace. We'll help you achieve your goals with our sorcery, but we've got a condition. The petrification weapon has to go, uh, has to go to us, no matter what. We're not budging on this! You got that? The weapon is ours, Mozu, ours! He sure got away with words. He's really punchable when he wants to be. <laughs> oh my god. Is it me or is Jen being like really, really bratty and stubborn? <laughs> Equal? Hmm, conditions? I hardly think so. I'm the one that's the absolute strongest in terms of fighting power. Oh, Moza, we ain't taking shit. So you're all going to use your sorcery to help me. And you're going to hand over the petrification weapon to me. What? What? No, that's too cruel. Wait, hang on. I knew it'd come to this. Um, I'll be keeping watch over this ba this base from a distance. After all, you have uh, no choice but to obey me. Oh, mentalist Jen's manipulation technique number three. This is what's no is known as psychological uh, psychological uh, re um, uh, reactance. When you make things uh, sound forced, like do this or do that, the instinct to uh, Want to preserve one's free will and right to decide will make them act in opposition and refuse. I get it. Jen's doing all this on purpose. Yes, Jen is a sneaky ass motherfucker. He is my, he is just trolling. He is awesome. I love, this is why I love my husbando right here. This is why Jen is my husbando and he is the number one bro. He is the number one bro in the bromance. It ain't fucking, um, Chrome. Sorry, Chrome. You were up there for a bit. You're like... Chrome's like the number three bro, because Rio Sui is like, no, has taken number two bro. He's taken the number two bro spot. It ain't Rio Sui, Rio Sui's getting, is starting to try and get up there in the number one spot, but nah, Rio Sui, you ain't ever gonna get that number one spot. You'll, you'll be, always be close, but you'll never get that number one spot. And, um, and Taiju, you will never be that number one bro. You ain't even close to number five bro. You and the bro squad, so I'm just saying. Um... I get it, Jen's doing all this on purpose. I hadn't even realized it, but the flow of the conversation has changed. Yeah, originally his decision was whether or not he should kill us all. Kill us all. But by manipulating his natural uh, psychological re uh, reactants, he wanted uh, to want to avoid playing into the, the silver tongue man's hand. Before he knew it, the conversation had shifted into condition for uh, conditions for alliance. The path to victory in the deal game is not to humiliate and defeat your opponent. It's luring your opponent to, uh, into acting according to your desires and creating a flower lace path of a uh, of um, uh, dece um of deception. Wait, of a deception. Uh, wait, what? What? Yeah, it's deception. Excuse me, deception for them to walk. Ooh, 
we got going. We got it going. He's gone, right? Yep, he's gone. Ah, oh my God! Phew. Yeah, that's my man, Jen. Ah, so in the end, we've acquired the ultimate military force, haven't we? C -c 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 yeah, but as soon as he's done with us, he's ten billion. He ten billion percent plans to kill us all. Uh, we can think about all that stuff later. Yeah, for now, I think I need to rest for a minute. <laughs> I need to rest a minute. Mosu has joined the party for now. Yee. Our kingdom of science is completely crushed as far as manpower is concerned. In fact, if they were to come um, at us with just straight brute force, uh, just a straight brute force attack, they'd have uh, us beat like that. That's where we need you. Uh, need your strength, Mozu. We need to uh, need you to make them um, think that we're exceedingly powerful. We wanted um, we uh, we want them to feel uh, cornered so uh, that they that they think we've got no choice but to use the petrification weapon. Hmm, in other words, sneak attacks under the guise of an invader, but don't kill them. Oh my god, we got Assassin's Creed going on up here. But don't kill them, we need to, them to be able to report how powerful the enemy is. You're getting way too excited about this strategy. I've already handled it. Oh yeah, you can't hear my voice, can you? For sorcery, that's pretty inconvenient. The Ruthless Sinister Trump card has been acquired. Yes, we got Assassin's Creed right here. This is Assassin's Creed. It's Assassin's Mozu. This is the new Assassin's Creed game right here. Damn. Damn, you're out doing Ubisoft right now. It's Assassin's Mozu. Anyway, I fucking am excited for Assassin's Mozu. I, I am. Well, most, uh, well, I didn't know. Oh, I should say wordings here. Mozu is the new Assassin's Creed. I'm very down. It's called Assassin's Creed uh, Stone Edition. I'm down with this. I'm down with Mozu being the, the new Assassin in the Assassin's Creed line. This will be very fucking cool. I can't wait for this shit. This could be. I can't wait for next chapter. This is going to be amazing. But God damn it, I needed this chapter so bad. I love Jed. Like, how can you not love Jed? Like, he's the best goddamn character ever. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdy Kids Inc. If you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive so I can keep bringing you more Dr. Stone content, there's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to my PayPal, Patreon, GoFundMe, purchase something on my Amazon wish list. All that's in the uh, description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, friend me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Until next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.